Hi guys, John here without Jack. Welcome to another banger of a day out here at the Highlands. So we're here to do a range test with the electric outboard today. And we're gonna get started by going through the specs, having a look under the hood and seeing what we're running. And then we're gonna hit the water. We've got the electric outboard here. There's plenty of info out on it in previous videos, so check that out. Underneath me, we've got the battery. Under the seat, we've got a battery, charger, an ESC, and also a bunch of cabling. So this hull and the parts here have all been used um, as product development for our production units. Um, but in here, we actually have a battery which we do use on our production units or the first units that were produced. So a note about the ESC here is that it's actually for our really big airboat motors and it differs from the ESC that you actually buy on the website for the electric outboard motor. Now we're running the electric outboard at six kilowatts peak, which is just perfect for the size of this boat and our daily usage needs. If we compare this build to a normal two stroke, we think it's probably about the equivalent of a six horsepower. This lower unit has been put through the works and is not all that efficient anymore. A couple of weeks ago, I came out here and the motor just wouldn't turn around. I understood it wasn't anything electronic, it was a mechanical. And there was a failure down here in this piece of the casting. What had happened was that it had bent out like this, that bolt had broken and cracked that part of the casing. What then happened was that the propeller ended up at an angle like this and just wouldn't even turn around. So I just ripped it off the boat, went up to the boat shed and uh, made a couple of aluminium washers there and got it all back together. Did put some new oil through it as well and uh, Bob's your uncle. So that'd be the major inefficiency in this system. Otherwise, everything's pretty well trimmed up. We're running a 96 volt system and there's a 50 amp our battery in there. So we've got about 4.8 kilowatt hours of uh, usable electrons, which are coming down from the sun today in a beautiful manner. But one of the main factors that will affect range is the amount of weight you put in that boat and the boat itself, of course. So we've got a hull, which weighs just under 79 kilos, a battery, which weighs 43. We've got a bunch of other little bits and pieces there, some cables, we've got the ESC box which is in there. That weighs just under 7 kilos. Of course we've got the outboard which is 17. And that's a total of about 150 kilos. You're lugging a fair bit of equipment through the lake. We've just forgotten one thing though. And that's me. 77 kilos of island muscle. Damn it dad! Sunk another one! Game isn't fun anymore. All in all, we've got 225 kilos heading out onto the lake today using those electrons. Now we're gonna see just how far it's gonna go. was that? Zero percent and I've uh, been circling for a little while in this bay. It was pretty windy out behind the island there so I thought I'd give myself a bit of a chance to actually be able to paddle a few hundred meters back because I've only got one paddle. Let's get to it. <laughs> Alrighty guys, this baby's on charge now. Let's head up and crunch some numbers. And the results are in. First, we have to talk about the conditions. It was pretty windy at the back of the island here, particularly on the way back, there was a lot of chop, but I did come back into the bay area and then I was doing circles in here because I just didn't want to be too far off when the battery ran out. I had to paddle a little bit home and then I downloaded the GPS and the results, I've got to say, I think they're okay. So what numbers did we get? Lugging 227 kilos of aluminium and metal and island muscle, around a half windy lake. Well, the 4.8 kilowatt hour battery got us 16.5 kilometers, took 78 minutes, and there was an average speed of 12.6 kilometers per hour. And that's the end of it. It's been an absolutely stunning day 
again, out here at the island, we've got some really good real world results, which we hope helps you. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to buy us a super thanks, you can do that down here. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and please share this video to anyone you know, even your grandma. Have a great night, guys. We'll see you later.